So Tesla finally took the wraps off the Model 3. The car has been rumored and tweaked and was the third phase of Tesla's secret plan uh, that Elon Musk made not so secret a few years ago. Uh, but now we've seen the Model 3 uh, and it looks different than I think a lot of people uh, expected. Before I get into the looks, what about the car? And is it a car people are gonna want to drive? Well, judging by the pre-orders, uh, if you believe the numbers that are coming out, 180,000 pre-orders uh, have been placed, which is an insane number of pre-orders. And you factor that, an average cost of about $42,000 for the car, despite its $35,000 starting price, you figure people add an option or two. Uh, I think that's about $7.5 billion if everybody put down a $1,000 refundable deposit actually buys the car. So a lot of money people are potentially going to uh, hand over to Tesla. So the car, uh, according to Elon Musk, will have at least a 215 mile EPA range, although there'll be higher capacity battery packs that will uh, go farther. Uh, zero to 60 time in the slowest base model, they said of about six-ish seconds, so not gonna be a slow car. Uh, at all. Uh, it's going to have a front trunk and a rear trunk, but the front trunk is going to be much smaller than the Model S. Since a smaller size uh, sedan, they wanted to be able to seat five adults comfortably. So what they did was they pushed the front seats forward. Usually where like an engine would be, but since there is an engine there, it didn't really matter. So it's got a really sort of small front end, which gives the car kind of a odd looking proportions. But supposedly plenty of room for five adults. So you can be able to fit a seven foot surfboard. Uh, in the car, it's a hatchback, so it seats down and kind of going all the way through. So the Model X looks a little minivan-y, but the coolest feature, obviously, is those Falcon wing doors. But the feature that doesn't get talked about too much, I think is kind of equally cool, uh, is the back. It's a single sheet of glass. It goes all the way back, creating like a really airy experience in the car. They're taking that feature and putting it on the Model 3, so it'll feel really airy in the back. So it's almost like a continuous uh, sunroof. It sounds like Tesla wants to cram just a ton of stuff to a $35,000 car, so I would imagine that a lot of the stuff that got shown in the design might not be what actually ships with the car. There were a lot of surprises with the Model 3, but the one that I wasn't really expecting was to be able to use Tesla's existing supercharger network. I figured that many cars on the road, there'd be no way to have it be enabled. Essentially free charging uh, for your car that can get your car up to 80% in like 20 minutes, and that's on a big pack like the Model S. So who knows what's gonna be on the Model 3. But the cool thing for me was at $35,000, you're going to get Tesla's Autopilot, which is the closest thing you can get right now to autonomous drive. And a car of that price uh, is absolutely incredible. What do you guys think? Are you putting down a deposit for a Model 3? 180,000 or so have already been put down, but I figured I kind of want it to be 180,000 and one. I love what the company's doing and uh, I believe in the future of electric cars uh, and I think the future of Tesla as well.